noong 1987, nagsimulang pumasok sa PMA si Colonel Edison Bong Nebriha. Nagkaroon noon ng kudita na pinamunuan ni Colonel Gringo Hunasan. The cadet was divided to help the coup plotters or to remain defenders of the Constitution. I was one who decided to help out Colonel Honasan. My, my father is a war veteran. So, nung, ano, nung nabalitaan niya na sa news na, oh, yung mga kadete, bababa na. There was no cell phones then. You, I cannot get hold of them. Uh, we were, we were, it was chaotic at PMA at that time. So, hindi ka rin makasulat. So, they never knew kung, kung I will join or not. But then again, it was all over the news na yung mga kadete, bababa to help out Honasan. And my father, uh, this, this story was being, uh, I was told by my sister, na at that night, kasi nung hapon, inaatake yung kapaginaldo ng Tora Tora. And my father was watching it, and it was reminding him of the war, no, that he has been through. Nag-aalala ko kay Bong, eh. Siguro naman narinig mo at nabasa. Mga balita. O oh, talaga, kaya hmm. naman. Napakabata pa ni Bong eh, to go through this. Kung ikaw talaga, eh, alam mo naman yun eh. Kayang-kaya nyo. Bert? Bert? Ano? Ba bakit ano na? Ano na oh, oh. nangyari sa'yo? Bert? Bert? Ano? Oh. <laughs> Mawala! Mawala! Ang papa nyo! Nagriha, may bisita ka. Sir, weekend ngayon. Walang visitation, di ba? Nag-bees ka at sasama ang ita. So when I saw my brother, I knew then that there's, some, there's a problem. Kuya, boom. Si Papa. But I never knew kung no premonition or whatsoever that my father passed away. Wala na si Papa. Siyempre, PMA ako eh. PMA. <laughs> Kadete ako eh. You cannot allow to show emotions in public, di ba? Punta ako sa tactical office ko, sir, mag-apply ako na matay yung father ko. So, they process it and I went down with my brother. Masakit para kay Edison ang pagkawala ng kanyang ama. Lalo pa sa huling lang pagkikita, isang masaya at maramdami na tagpo ang kanilang naranasan. Bong, anak! Ah! <laughs> Anong yari sa'yo? Napabisita kayo? Matagal na kasing hindi ka namin nakikita eh. Kumusta ka dito? Ha? Baka nahihirapan ka na. Payat-payat mo na eh. Hindi na nga kita nakilala eh. Pa, kaya ko. Sila mama, yung mga kapatid ko, kamusta na? Okay lang kami anak. Mag-iingat ka dito, ha? Lagaan mo katawan mo. <laughs> Pabubutihan ko pa dahil alam kong proud ko sa akin kapag may PMA ka na sa pamilya. Kaya ko to. Malas anak mo. Pa. Ayos ka lang. Uh, okay lang to. Ang init dito sa Tarlac, ano? Tara, dadali. Alam mo naman ang, alam mo naman ang papa mo. May hypertension, ha? Pero huwag kang mag-alala. Ah, hindi ako pumapalis sa maintenance ko. Kaya ko ito, ha? Iyo. Sigurado ka pa. Oh. Mas madali kita sa klinik. Hindi Malang na, hindi na. Eh. Uuwi na lang ako. 
Anak, mag-iingat ka. Uwi na muna ako, ha? Ha? Mag-iingat ka. Huwag na. Mag-iingat ka, ha? Pa! Anak, okay lang. Okay, dyan ka na. Mag-iingat ka, ha? Pa, sigurado ka ba? Right, that memory na... I didn't know that that would be the last time I'll see my father, right? It was so dramatic and... You know, we hugged, and that was, at that time, after a short conversation, went home. Sabi niya, anak, nahihilo na ako because it was hot. It was summer. Tarlak. Eh, my dad is high blood, you know? May hypertension. Sabi niya, buong nahihilo na ako. I need to go home. Isang araw matapos mailibing ang ama, muling bumalik ng PMA para ipagpatuloy ang pagiging kadete. Opo, makala ko hindi ka na babalik. Hindi ka na magkakadete. Sabi mo kasi, si Papa mo ang dahilan kung bakit pumapasok ka dito. Pinalaki kami ng mga magulang namin sa never give up na attitude. Nangako ko sa Papa ko, nandito ako magtatapos. Kaya sigurado na kahit wala na siya, magiging proud siya sa akin kapag nagawa ko yan. So, basta pagka... Kung ano man problema dun sa bahay, sabihin mo na sila dad na mag-telegram sa akin para alam ko kung ano nangyayari sa inyo dun. Okay, kuya. Ah, uh, basta tatawagan na lang kita no, no. pag... Uy, Bong! Kamusta? Uh, girlfriend mo, Dok? Ay, hindi. Younger sister ko yan. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Maribet, si Bong kasama ko dito. Hi. Hi. Oh, teka lang ha. Una na ako kasi may pasyente pa ako, tsaka pwede mo atin to ha. Ah, uh, sige, Dok. Ah, basta kuya. Tatawa kang ito kung may kailangan. Oo, sige na ka, madali na. Sabi kami sa Academy. Through a common friend. The moment she saw me, parang sabi niya, love at first sight. So, yung friendship turn on a higher level. Kakilala kami, know each other well. Nag-break up sila ng boyfriend niya. I was there for her. Maribel. Ayos ka lang? Ayos ka lang? Oh, okay lang ako. Hinahanan mo ba siya, Dok? Alam ko, mali siya eh. Maribet, may problema ka ba? Nandito lang ako. Makikinig ako. I was in trouble with my girlfriend. She was there for me. And the timing was there. So, yun. Pambihira naman. Anda yung maliligaw na anak ko. Sa'yo pa siya bumagsa. Lahat na maliligaw na anak ko. Nakakotse! Tapos sa'yo nagpabuntis! Sir, wala akong kotse pero pinapangako ko na magsusumikap ako para sa anak niyo at sa magiging anak ko namin. Yung uh, father niya, Colonel, in the Army. So, medyo ano sa akin yun. Navy ako eh. Navy beat Army. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, was not, I was not on the top list of my, ano, my father-in-law. I could not ask for more. God given, talaga. I do not even know if I deserve her. Ah, yeah. That's what she is to me. So, yung two kids ko, I'm very proud of my kids. I mean, my kids, really. They're really go-getter. My son, he's smart, but not academically inclined. Masyado kasi siyang, ano eh, masyado siyang smart that he thinks that he could go through it with his smartness alone. But I was, I'm always telling him, no, iba yung may education ka. So, he's in the U.S. Navy now. But he hasn't finished his college yet. Sabi ko sa kanya, there's still time. Don't take it long to finish your degree. 